Good evening, fellow YouTubers, and welcome to my very first episode of Regrowth. This is a mod pack that is on the FTB launcher, and this is my very first Let's Play series on YouTube. Usually, you will find me on Twitter, or Twitch, my god, Twitter. You'll find me on Twitter too, but you'll find me on Twitch at uh, twitch.com forward slash minecraftingdad. I think the information's right down there in the screen. But I'm glad you guys could be here for the very first episode of Regrowth. Let me turn the music down just a little bit. So if you're interested in playing this mod pack, it's available on the FTB launcher. And uh, we're going to try it out. We're going to see how what it's all about. If you're liking the video, do me a favor and hit the, uh, the like button down below. And we'll try to make this into a regular thing. So this is our very first episode, so we're going to do this. Um... We're going to try out Regrowth. So this pack I've heard a lot of good things about. So the idea in this is, uh, well, instead of me telling you about it, let's just go play it. What do you guys think? So let's get started. Let's move over to this YouTube recording screen. And let's do this. All right, so we're going to start a single-player world. Great new. What we say here? What are we going to call our single-player world? Hmm. MCD hmm. try let's see uh, MCD growing pains right let's see so survival yes that's that's fine seed uh, jump right in. So that's going to be my very first YouTube Let's Play series. Again, if you like this video, give me a support below. Hit that uh, subscribe button. And I also would love to see you guys in the Twitch uh, castings. Like I said, typically I record Monday through Friday around 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Also uh, on the weekends around the same time. So come over to Twitch and... Uh, check it out. So let's play this. Let's see what the game is all about. <laughs> Alright. Loaded up the world! Let's do it! I'm excited to see what we can get here. Whew. Some weight. Alright, so I am a Minecrafting dad. That's why you see the little ones up in the corner here. And all you parents out there that got little kids that like to play video games, you gotta give me a thumbs up and a positive hello because if you're able to do this and still take care of the little ones, that deserves a positive subs subscription or whatever the case may be. You know what I mean? All the parents out there. So we can still play games and all that, you know? Alright, so we're downloading the first world. Because this is a modded Minecraft pack, it does take a few seconds for the world to get started. And uh, <clears throat> when we get in here, we're going to check out some things. Let's see, what, is this, what does this world have to offer us? Make sure my FPS and all that is running at a sufficient level here. Do, do, do. One thing about modded Minecraft you always find is... It takes it a few seconds to uh, to really kick in. Let me do something here. Let me double check to make sure my settings. See, what I like to do, we'll do this in the very first episode. I like to keep my settings at a reasonable rate. Um, make everything, for the most part, run at a, a fairly decent level. Um, let's see, 64, that's pretty good, I think, for FPS. So let's get started. What is this barren place with nothing here? It looks like cracked sand and all kinds of interesting stuff. So what is this? Charred log? Alright, what do you say? I guess the first thing we'll do is look at the books. What do we have here? Materials and you. Uh oh. Fireworks. That's, uh, this is a something that comes from TT Core is a mod, and if you want to turn off the fireworks, there is an option inside of the config, because everything you do basically sets off fireworks. So this is the uh, Tinker's Construct book, and if you're not familiar with Tinker's Construct, my god, the fireworks are real. 
then uh, you can use this in order to build your tinker station. We're going to do that a little bit later on. The second book here is Materials Processing. And this book actually comes from... Um, uh, why is the name always slipping my brain here? This book comes from Mariculture. Mariculture is the one. So this is a this is a live recording. I'm also recording these videos on Twitch at the same time as we're doing it here for YouTube. So once in a blue moon, you'll hear me acknowledge the fact that I'm recording it. Let's let's open this book again so we can hear this here. Options, uh, music and sound, master volume. Let's turn that up so we can hear what he's saying. You've awoken from slumber once more. But this time, things seem a little different. The world itself appears dead around you. A wasteland stretching off into the distance, dotted by the skeletons of trees, accompanied only by gray boulders. Even more curiously, the earth seems barren. Try as you might, you cannot find a single deposit of minerals underground, leaving you to wonder what to make of this world. As you look around, you start to think about what it will take to survive here, and how you might try and help the world recover. Alright, so, apparently, we've ended up on this desolate land filled with pretty much nothingness, and it's going to be our job to make something of nothing! So, I'm still waiting for the exciting part. Well, at least we have the opportunity to wait for the next time fireworks to decide to suddenly appear. So, let's do what they kind of tell us here. Let's just kind of explore around for a second, and then we'll check out the quest book. So, it looks like we have get, from dead logs, we get wood? Dead wood? This isn't like a normal tree. What is this? Charcoal and sticks. All right, well, you know what? This is an HQM pack, so that means they're going to try to tell us or explain to us how to play the pack. So, let's take a look in the book and, uh, and, and do what we have to do. Now, typically in an HQM world, what you normally want to do is open up LAN and start it, and then you want to go slash HQM quests. Um, was it HQM quest? I think it's quest or quest. I don't have permission... Uh, let's try it here. I think I messed something up. Let me exit out, enter back in again, and when you go into this, you want to make sure you turn on very specific options. And the reason why is this will enable the uh, the quest book to work correctly. So there we go. This server does not have hardcore questing mode. We're going to fix that. So slash HQM quests. And it's going to do it again. HQM quests. Questing mode already activated. Okay, well, we didn't have to do that, but that's okay. So now we can go and we can start the book. So as soon as you click on this little icon right here, it says click here to start. Now it's going to show a um, list of quests that are available to you. This is the latest version of uh, HQM. Click right here to show the quest. So our very first one is what the world came to be. Your first job since waking up should be to try and reestablish natural life in the world. So, we look here, we got something to do with killing an Enderman, and I don't even want to attempt that without some type of weaponry. We also have, let's try punching things! I am good at that, I know that for sure. This desolate world seems littered with these dead trees and gray boulders of slate. You think you may be able to salvage some materials? From within them, you bare hand using your bare hands on closer inspection, the small stumpy dead trees seem to have been burnt to charcoal. A task where the player needs to be gather specific items. These do not have to be handed in. Having them in one's inventory is enough. So we need ten dead wood, four charcoal, and seven flint. So let's go find us. Oh look, we get apples. Alright, so let's go punch trees. And we shall get things. This part of the game, I am perfectly okay with. What about this stuff? What does this do? Well, look, we get flint from this slate. <laughs> so let's gather up some things. Let's see, how many pieces of what do we need here? So we got plenty of flint. Well, let's grab an extra few pieces because, you know, 
one can never have enough flint. Uh, as you'll find out very soon with Tinker's Construct, flint is what you'll make your very first tools out of. So take my word for it. You will want to grab some flint. Uh, let's grab this one too. <laughs> Alright, so let's keep on going here. Let's grab some trees. This is interesting. We found some wood. We found some charcoal. How much of this charcoal stuff do we need? Oh, only four. We need ten dead wood. Isn't it? Okay, so I have seven dead wood. It looks like it's getting dark already. We should probably hurry up a little bit. This may not end up being uh, very good here if we don't start going faster. Oh, yeah, we've got some apples. And we've now opened up another quest. So grasping at straws. On closer inspection, some small amounts of grass, though dead, still remains in the wasteland. Maybe you'll be able to find some seeds. All right, so we got to gather some stuff. And this is bone meal, floral, clay, all kinds of interesting. Pasture seeds and belladonna seeds. We're going to do that. Uh, and also making tools. Uh, this is interesting. So I'm guessing we're going to have to make this kind of stuff. So flint axe head. Let's look up in NEI if we load up look up flint axe head. So this is this thing right here. How do we make that? Oh look, it's actually a relatively easy recipe. So it's shaped crafting and it only requires those four slots. So we actually may be able to make ourselves a weapon, or at least the beginning of a weapon, without even having a full crafting table. All right, so that's easy. What else does it want? It wants one of those, or two of those. One flint axe head and one shovel, or two shovel heads. Interesting. So maybe we should make uh, another one of those. We need to make a pick. How the heck are we going to make a pick? Well, that works. All right. And I'm guessing, what's the other one, a shovel? Well, we'll just randomly place them in here. Sure, that works, I guess. All right, there we go. So we've got some things. Now what else do we need? A wood binding. I guess we should just look this up, right? Because that would be the smart thing to do. I have a feeling that time is running out here and we need to go faster. Wood binding. Bi I just look up binding. Maybe that'll be smarter. So binding, wooden binding. Oh, that's just two sticks. We can do that, certainly. And that's going to be for our pickaxe. And then we could just use regular sticks, right? So let's see. What else does this want? Wooden tool rod. Oh, my God. Maybe this... How does that work? Is that a wooden tool rod? Oh, yeah. Look at that. Whew. We need four of those. Oh, jeez. All right. Whatever. Here you go. Four of those. Did I do it? All right. What do I want here? It gives me a flint sword blade as a reward. And it does tell me a little bit about this. See, I didn't read. If I would have only read what I was supposed to do, I would know this. The materials you've scrounged from the boulders and dead trees should be sufficient to make some tools. First, you'll need to make those tools parts necessary. Uh, to make the tools necessary for making these tools, once you've got that, you can see about making the tools themselves. Note, these are all craftable in the 2x2 two two crafting grid. Oh, man, it helps to actually read this stuff first. And are required in order to make a crafting table. Um, okay. So we're going to get ourselves a flint sword blade. Well, I want a full sword. I think this right here, the bone guard, will let you make a knife. The bone crossbar, I think that lets you make a rapier. And the bone wide guard, which we're going to select here, um, detection task. Oh, you got to make the tools. Oh, crap. Let's go. Let's just make our tools. It's becoming time here. And we have no time to... We have to go and make stuff and quickly before... What else do we have to make here? Uh, uh, that and those. Oh my god, let's hurry up. Hurry up. Because it's getting dark and we're going to need to find somewhere to live. What else? This and shovel. Yes. Alright. Is that good enough? Are you happy now? Are we... What? What am I missing? It, everything's 100%. Oh, I have to pick a, pick what I want. That, that helps. Okay, can I craft these things together? So that, this, and this. Oh my god, look at that flint broadsword. Oh yeah. 
Now we're living in style. Okay, so I think it's getting late here. Can we also make some torches? Oh, look at that. That's beautiful. Torches. All right, so it looks like it's getting dark out here, and I think we're not going to want to stand around outside anymore. Let's go find somewhere to hide for the nighttime, and we'll, we'll pick this up in the morning here. So let's get into a secure spot and make us uh, safe here. Hopefully we can find something to kind of live in. I think this will be, this will do, let's put some torches down and make it a little bit more homely. Kind of worried about food though. I've got 12 apples, but I didn't see any food out there. I don't know about you guys. But, uh, could be quite an interesting thing. So I kind of get the idea that we're going to have to uh, do a lot of work in this pack. Let's see, what is, what is our next quest here? Should we lock ourselves in? Sure. So let's see, what is our next quest that we need to accomplish? I, I still kind of want to see outside, though, you know? I haven't seen any real danger yet. Let's, let's just peek outside and... I don't see anything. Is there mobs? Because it appears quiet. So let's press our luck a little bit here until we actually start seeing some mobs show up. And then if we have to, we can always run back into the hole over here. Do 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 do. Hello? Anyone around? I'm starting to wish there's mobs because, you know, it seems kind of too quiet. Alright, so I was told before that if we punch this grass... Oh, look, see, we got some things. Good. Alright, I do see something off in the distance. Uh oh okay. We are here. We have confirmation that we are not alone. I see a skeleton whale over there, and uh, he doesn't look friendly. Alright. So, we do have confirmation that there are other forms of life, or not life. Depends on how you look at it, I guess. But, alright, let's... What is this thing? This looks like a, an aura node. Hmm. That's interesting. So that means there's Thomcraft in this. That's kind of exciting. I like Thomcraft. Although, it, what it's going to be like, Hey, look, you found cracked sand. Hey, look, uh, you found a, a, a charred log. You know, I'm sure that's going to be ultra exciting for Thomcraft. <laughs> Alright, let's go and... Uh, still not seeing any mobs over here. These guys are... Am I like... Oh my god! Look at the pile of creepers! <laughs> no! No, 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 and no, no, no. <laughs> All right, <laughs> mobs confirmed. We will stay in our little base here, and uh, I guess let's look at our book and figure out what the next plan is. All right, so you can see in the HQM book, we have unlocked a few more uh, tasks. So one of them, let's look at the original ones that we couldn't complete before. Kill an Enderman. And it rewards you with another ender pearl. Eh, we'll, we'll just let that happen naturally, you know. This one here is the grass one. So this here, on closer inspection, some small amounts of grass, though dead, still remain in the wasteland. Maybe you'll be able to find some seeds or other useful materials along amongst English, English, the dead dry strands. Pasture seeds will let you grow dirt into grass. Okay, so we could find this other stuff, which we only found bone meal. And then it'll, the rewards are six normal seeds, carrots, and potatoes. And we don't have that quite yet. Other than that, we can build some patterns, and we can make our Tinker's Construct, although I haven't been able to make a crafting bench, so I'm kind of interested into how that's going to be. Uh, maybe we need to look up crafting bench, or whatever the... I guess it's a crafting station? Crafting bench... One of these! A um, piece of wood and a hatchet. A hatchet? What the heck is a hatchet? Is it, that's just a hatchet. Maybe that's what it means. Let's see. Hatchet and wood? That doesn't quite 
fit the rat. It says hatchet from Tinker's Construct. It looks like, quite frankly, it looks like a rainbow of colors. It doesn't look like a hatchet at all. And a, and a piece of wood, well, which I guess that part makes sense. Um, did I just toss the stuff on the ground? Okay. Let's try that one more time. So one hatchet and one piece of dead wood. We get ourselves a crafting table. All right. So I am following along, I think. So what else do we need to make here? We need to make... Oh, a furnace. We can make furnace? That means we need to find some cobble. Also, let's check our other other, other uh, task here. This is actually going to be pretty easy. Oh, well, I say that now. Also, we need to find cobblestone and dirt. So with a bit of dirt, you can grow stuff. And with a bit of stone, you can build stuff. Seems legitimate. What more do you want? Maybe these could be found in a subterranean environment. All right. Well, we do have a pickaxe. We do have a hole. And I think it's dark outside. And there's mobs. Okay, so darkness confirmed. Um, hole confirmed. And let, let's go mining. I mean, we're here. and We're not going outside, outside anytime soon. We do have some food. And we do have a task list of things we need to accomplish. So... Let's uh, start going down here and start gathering some stuff. We do have cobblestone. This wants us to gather 32 cobble and 32 dirt. So let's just begin doing that process. So this is a little bit tedious, but, uh, you know, it's the first day. So while we're doing this, let me take the opportunity to tell you a little bit about myself. Uh, my name is Minecrafting Dad, and typically, you will find me on Twitch, my channel, twitch.tv forward slash Minecrafting Dad. I like to play uh, different modded Minecraft series, typically, and uh, I'm trying to, uh, you know, give this YouTube thing a go and uh, see how it works out. But I'm doing all these recordings live on Twitch, so what I do is I love to invite you back to my channel. And uh, the next time I'm recording, feel free to stop on by. Let me know that you saw the video. Let me know what you think. I'll be glad to have you. And uh, we certainly love to grow our community. And, uh, you know, stop on by and say hello. So, <clears throat> I'm hoping to make this a regular thing. And if, uh, if you guys are willing and give me enough likes, you know, you might actually make me come back and want to do it again. So let's go here. We have enough cobble. We still need about another 17 dirt. I guess we'll just grab this dirt in here, right? Why well, make a more of a, uh, a task out of it than we need to? So we'll just grab all of this. 18. Let's see. Doo -doo -doo. This is fun. 29. Oh, we only need one more piece. All right, let's go do that. Now let's turn it in. What? 32. Oh, I thought it was 30. Apparently, I either have a short memory or can't count. One of the two. We'll just go with uh, short memory. All right, so there we go. Some more of that. And one more piece of dirt. We'll just steal one out of the wall here. Put the gravel in place. Oh. Derp. All right, let's turn that in. We can get limestone and marble. Pick one. Uh, limestone I already have. Let's pick the marble. Wow, that's kind of loud. I'm so, let me turn that down just a little bit. The, uh, the master volume is ultra loud. Sorry to blast your eardrums there, guys. Other than that, let's look at the other half of this, which is building the uh, Tinker's Construct stuff. So we need a tool station, a stencil table, a parts builder, a patterns chest, and a furnace. So let's do that. Um, we do have a crafting bench up here, 